Miss Kate here. I have had a lot of requests for Mario Brothers stuff. Um, and so I thought what I would do is do a couple of drawings with you guys. Um, and we'll start off simple with a little mushroom man and then we'll end with uh, Mr. Mario himself. Um, so yeah, just get some paper, pencil. Uh, if any time during this you need to pause the video, do that. Um, and let's just go have some fun. I'm gonna rotate this, so hang on there and we'll get going. All right, hi artists. So here we go. Um, at any point, if I'm going too fast, pause the video. We'll be right here waiting for you when you're ready. Um, we're gonna start basic with the, a simpler um, drawing and then we'll work our way up. We wanna kind of warm up. So let's start with that mushroom guy. Now, the little mushroom guy, the bottom is gonna start with a letter U but it's a little bit of like a, a push down letter U. Typically, U looks more like that. We kind of smushed it. Maybe my cat sat on it for a bit. Shh, don't tell him I said that. Okay, then we're gonna connect the top of the U with a curves, a little bit of a curve line. It's not totally straight, but I wouldn't even say it's quite a curve line, just a little bit. Before we move, go and make the cap, let's do his eyes. Those are gonna be two ovals. Ovals are a circle that have been stretched. And inside you'll put the black part, the pupil of his eye. You got it? Okay. Now for the mushroom cap, it's gonna be kind of like a big circle, but we don't connect it. So I'm gonna start on one side. I'm gonna curve up and around. But when I hit the other side of his head, I stop because I'm not gonna chop this, like go right through his eyes. And then last step, put in our big circle shapes. So it's gonna be a curved line not a full circle. And voila, we got a little mushroom man. So we warmed up a bit. You ready to try one more? Okay, let's do, you'll get an extra paper. Let me wipe off my board. And I don't think we're quite ready for Mario yet. Let's warm up one more time. So I'm gonna turn my paper or my board here going the portrait position. We're gonna do that piranha plant. Um, heads up, I don't know all the, t the fancy names of all of these, so if I make a mistake, please let me know down in the comments and I will um, have some more knowledge because you guys might know way more than I do. Actually, you probably do. So we're gonna start with that same sh sort of shape we had for our um, mushroom. It's that U that kind of is a little bit smushed. This one, however, is going to be a bit wider. Okay. And then inside this um, piranha plant, it's got that mouth, that white mouth with the teeth. So we're going to start with a letter V, but our V is going to curve on the bottom. So I'm gonna do a diagonal line in, a diagonal line in. If they kept going, they would meet like a V with a point. We're actually gonna put just a little bit of a curve there. You got it? Good. Now, we're gonna, on the t ends of our V here, we're gonna curve as well kind of like the letter C, the letter upside down U. And we're gonna bring these to meet each other in the bottom. So I'm gonna go down and down. Awesome job, I see some phenomenal artists out there. Keep going. Okay, we'll get in some teeth. Those are upside down V's they're a diagonal line and a diagonal line. I'm just gonna put two on each side. I'm not sure if there's more than two, but I have a feeling there's two. And let's get those spots because I know this guy has spots. 
Um, I'm gonna put in about four. I don't know if there's an actual quota for spots for this creature, but um, if there is, go ahead and put the correct amount. Miss Kate is going to stick with four. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and we'll add its stem. Two vertical lines. And it's in a pot. That's a pretty simple shape. The top of the pot is a rectangle. Long, short, long, short. Pretty good so far? All right. And we'll put the bottom part. It's two diagonals. Diagonals look like they're about to fall over. And then just a straight line. And if my memory serves me correct, this guy's got some sharp pointy leaves coming off. So we'll do one on each side. We're gonna start with an arc, a curved line, kind of like a C that's been pulled a bit. And on the underside, we're gonna put those pointy um, edges that it has. So you're gonna do a C and then connect another C to it and then connect another C. They kind of get a little bit smaller as they go down. You think you can get one on the other side? Okay, I'm gonna do it with you. That curved arch and we're gonna put those little C's on top. These ones are backwards, however. And voila, you have art, art number two. Miss Kate is thinking she is ready for Mario. How about you guys? Woo! Oh, I heard it, way in the back. We are gonna do Mario now. So, get another paper. And here we go. Now he's a bit more of a challenge. Um, we're gonna kind of piece them together. We'll start with his nose, we'll do his eyes, then we'll go do part of his head, and then we're gonna go back down, and then we're gonna go back up because we kind of have to work him like a puzzle so all of our pieces fit together. We're gonna start in the middle with his nose, and his nose is somewhat a circle, okay? Not a perfect circle, not quite an oval, just kind of there. Let's go ahead and add his eyes. Now his eyes are going to be an upside down U. Oops, that got a little out of my control there. Upside down U, but then it goes back in to his nose. Did you see that? So we'll do it on the other side too. An upside down U, and then it goes back in to his nose. Now Mario has a blue colored part of his eye, so that'll be one curved line. And then he also has the black pupil area, and that'll be a second curved line. You can take your pencil now or marker and fill in that black pupil area if you want or you can wait till the very end. I'll do it now so it looks a little more realistic. What we did on this side, we're gonna go ahead and do on the other side. One line for the blue part of his eye, another line for the people. And then you can color that in. We good? Okay, let's go ahead, we'll add in his mustache because I know Mari's got that fantastic uh, Italian mustache. So we're gonna do a curved line that goes up right a little bit past his eye on each side. We're gonna then connect it under his nose with the letter U. All of the U's connect and they make a little point at the top where they do. We'll 
we'll do a little straight line for his mouth. And we'll put one more little line under that. It makes us know he's got a little lip. Doing good so far? Okay. Um, we're gonna move up now a bit and we're gonna add in his eyebrow. It's gonna be an arch. And then we're gonna do another one right on top of that. We'll do it on the other eyebrow as well. Okay, here we go. We're gonna move up now and add part of his hat, then we're gonna move down and then go back up. So, above his eyebrows, we're gonna do a curved line. And this is gonna be the brim of his hat. It's gonna go a little bit past each eyebrow and a little bit to the, like equal with his mustache. On each end, we'll do a small vertical line up and down. And we'll connect them with that same curved line shape. Ready? Let's go ahead and we'll add his face. So on the right side, we're gonna go straight down to a little bit above his mustache. We'll do that on the left side too. Then Mario's cheeks kind of pop out a bit and then we come down to his chin. So it's not a huge pop out. I'm gonna go out, come down. When you get to his chin, you're gonna curve a bit more. I'm gonna pick my marker up so I don't smudge. And get that same on the other side. You doing okay? Great. We'll add in his sideburns or his, the side of his hair. It's gonna be a small line out from where his hat is and then down onto his cheek. We'll do it on the other side too. So a small line out from where his hat is and then down onto his cheek. From here, we can add in the top of his hat. You're gonna go where <clears throat> the top of the sideburn is. You're gonna go out a little bit curve up towards the top of your paper and then bring it back down. Mario's got an ear on each side. One will be a backward C, one will be a forward C. You can put in two little marks, a half circle and then an arch to make them look more like ears, not like we just put the letter C on our paper. And lastly, let's go ahead and we'll put his um, initial up on the top. So you're going to do almost a circle. And then he's got that nice M. M's can be kind of hard to do in this a block letter. So if you do your capital M first, as big as you can. Then what you do is you go inside. So you're gonna do a small little line on the bottom and you're just gonna follow your original line. And that will help you create that thickness of an M. And there you go. Maybe I'll put my initials down here so I can say it's my final masterpiece. And I'm gonna let you guys take the time you need to color, um, add in any other details. 
Uh, if you enjoyed, um, send me some other topics you want me to uh, do some drawings of or projects. I would be happy to do that. Um, and I am going to go, maybe I'll go do another one. Uh, have a lovely day. Enjoy. Get some fresh air. And I will catch y'all on the flip side. Bye. <laughs>